All right, so today we're learning how to do the French draw. And this um, move only requires a small object, such as a quarter or a marble, anything small, right? And you can move your way up. I can do like um, pool balls now and whatnot. I'll show you that maybe some other time. But right now, we're just going to take a quarter, and down a quarter, whatever you want. And the way you hold it is like this. Okay, it's very, very important to do it like this. Hold it with your thumb and your index finger, just like that. And this is where the misdirection comes in, okay? So you take your right hand, as it's coming over to take the quarter, you drop the quarter, okay? You drop it into that position right there. It'll, nine out of ten times, it drops in your hand, just like that, okay? So as that happens, we'll do it again. So it comes over, we drop it. Now this is what we have to do. Bring your hand down, away from your body, whatever it may be. Or you can bring it up here, point on the hand. And look at how, see how I'm looking at the coin? It's misdirecting the people, thinking it's there, right? And then it's gone. So the longer um, the time is between dropping the quarter and showing the vanish, the more longer, or more chance the person won't pick up on, oh, it's in that hand. So, but if I go like this, bam, it's gone. They're going to be like, oh, it's in your other hand. But if I'm talking to them, if I'm going like this, okay, the quarter's in this hand, now you blow on it, they'll blow on it, or whatever. The more time it is between the drop and the, the reveal, the more chances there are they won't pick up on it. So that's the French drop. You can use that so many times. You can use it wherever you want. I, if you're walking along with a bunch of kids, there's like rocks on the ground with rocks or whatever. Um, but you can use it many times, different ways too. So that's the first magic trick we're going to learn. And by far, it's not going to be the least, most important. All right, peace.